Welcome back to Dragon or Dragon, Dragon Souls. Souls. One. Dragon, Dragon Souls. Souls one. Yes. I have Dragon Dogma on the mind. Sorry. There. There's a Dragon Tales mod for Dark Souls. Well, actually, God. Well, actually, sir. <laughs> there probably is a Dragon Souls mod. Kill him. Yeah. Kill him. Dragon Tales. Yeah, fucking kill. Oh, I'm this, not. This guy's I'm not asshole. killing him on this playthrough, but yeah, you should. You sh uh, actually, no. If you kill him, you then the rest of up? the clerics will come by and kill you. Yeah. So uh, I'm not speeding this part up because I want to show off that I'm getting this covenant started, the way of the white, which increases uh, the ability to uh, connect with online players. But oh man, I saw I saw a little bit of lag there. It's a little yeah. Interesting. That's just Dark Souls yeah. one in uh, is, in general. Is, is there a lot of frame rate this, drops? It's not a very really optimized game. Yeah. Oh okay. It's, it's but yeah, the, the way of white basically does fucking nothing. Yeah, they, the PC board's terrible. Oh okay. Good to know. Yeah. Slow down so, is. So why'd abundant you why'd you do the PC port? Uh, the PC port mainly because mods. Uh, my, my not yeah the mods because this armor set I'm using it isn't supposed to be black yeah. it's supposed to be like a brown, um, but also just because uh, my PS3 recorder has a scratchy sound to it whenever I use it and I don't want to use that. So, well, that's Blight uh, Town. PC version. Blight Town is is even worse. Oh yeah, Bl Blight Town's yeah, Blight Town's worse on consoles, but we'll get to that when we do. Yeah. Right now, I'm just going around the bonfire area in order to acquire all the items possible. Start off on a good note. Yep. You can well, get a lot. At of the very shoot. least, at the very least, you sped this up because this would be way. It. I edit out like eight minutes. Trust me. Yeah, that definitely makes things. A lot easier, especially when you're yeah. just mm -hmm. grinding like this. It's it's not a big deal. So, I'm I am going to be focusing in on a sort of strength faith. and uh, faith build during this playthrough, which not a lot of people use faith. It's really good for co-op because you can heal allies, and there's a few really powerful uh, miracles in order for you to use. Yeah. Because, uh, lightning damage, yeah. lightning damage is like the most powerful element in the game. Yeah, but faith is like the most supportive. Like miracles are supportive type of magic. Then you have pyromancy yep. and sorceries. Yeah, pyromancy is kind of like a slower, more powerful version of sorceries. Yeah. but they're not as accurate. Yeah, the the upside to it is that you can use it without um, having to level up anything. Oh yeah, any uh, pyromancy flame you can just use one. Yeah. Oh, that was a fast early death. <laughs> uh, uh, that death was planned. Don't worry, I only had a f like 50 souls there, so. Wait, so it was intentional? Really yeah, because I knew it was gonna happen. I wanted to get the item there. Uh, this is a nice, sexy ass. Here. Yeah. Nice. That, that's uh, whatever. That. that did not look sexy to me. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about, sir. I know, man. I love me some undead fuck. You mean you don't like? I don't. I, I. I don't do undead. Undead fucks. <laughs> oh hi, uh, dragon. Fuck hello, you, dragon. Hello, dragon. I did not. If you pick up, I did not actually fight the dragon. Good. Uh, you can, but there's no real point yeah. to it. You just grab the items he has because the Stora straight sword is a very nice weapon to start off with. It and, scales uh, pretty So nicely. is the shield. Oh yeah, it has C scaling in it in a uh, faith, strength, and dex, yeah. which is very nice. And you also can get the um, red tier stone, which basically up um, ups your damage by forty percent when you're beneath twenty percent it... health. Mm -hmm. Very risk and reward style gameplay. It's one of my favorite. So things. now that we're now that we're decked out, let's pop up all these souls, so that way I can actually use this goddamn sword. Yay. So, uh, are you speeding up this entire part? Nope. Okay, nope. good. What do you think I am? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I wasn't going to be entirely surprised if you decided, let's just speed up the entire part. And I, I was I was just... Oh, wondering. yeah, because Veer's a lazy fuck. He'll do He'll that. He'll do that, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm just ge gearing up, and then we're on our way. Yeah. I'm doing a certain exploit trick that you're not supposed to do here. Um, it's a complicated trick, but basically you swing your sword, open up the menu to drink your Estus uh, while you're pressing square 
to use the item in your inventory, and it uh, will act as if you used it. Why are you not this supposed is to do useful it? useful with... Because it breaks the fucking awesome. game. It... Yeah, this is, a, this is just a glitch exploit. So what I just did Scrub. is that uh, I used the Firekeeper's Soul, which uh, gives you five humanity each time you use it. And it fully heals you. Which fills up, and it fully heals you. Uh, unfortunately, this uses up a Estus flask of your own, so uh, it ain't like as if you can use this as a regular healing item. And using it is actually quite clunky. Uh, but you can also use the Firekeeper Soul in order to upgrade your Estus flask and get more out of each drink. Yeah. So, I max out on humanity, so that way I have really good uh, drop rates as well as some resistances. Yeah. The thing, the main thing about oh, infinity are, is that is, is this not first. the video? This is the game doing the. Yeah, this drops. is the game. Oh. Yeah, yeah I don't doing think what? I could play this game if it's having this many frame drops. Um, I would, it if I have to play it, I'd play it on uh, 360 or PS3. It really. If the PS3 it's versions, it, I'd rather I, I, play the PS3 version. I said version this earlier in. I, uh, well, uh, typically my 360 is put up. So, you know, I'd rather not have to get yeah. it out because I'm lazy. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I, I said this, er, I said this well, earlier in part one, but I, I, I'm i using DS Fix yeah. on this playthrough, which I did not know that I did not need. So what I actually did with the settings is that it uh, it's at unoptimized settings. It could run way better on my computer if I figured it out, but using it's complicated. Yeah. DS, so for you, DS fixes. for you, since your computer isn't all that, uh, no. I would definitely go and get the console. Yeah, DS fix is useful, but you need to know how to use it. So, and if you if you don't need it, then don't, use don't it. worry about it. I mean, I can't even run games like Sonic Generations at <clears throat> sixty frames per second. So consistently, yeah. it, I can run it about fifty consistently, but it's about it. It's it's I not can, a very. I, I mean, it, 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 it's 15. just it's just a laptop that I bought for college, and it just happens to be able to have a, a, a to run a games kind easily. not a very good graphics card, but one that can run stuff like Overwatch at sixty FPS at lowest settings. Um, I could probably run uh, Song Generations at lower settings um, at sixty. It's just you know, it's like if I want console the the same graphics as the consoles. It'll run at 50, which is which is still better than the consoles because, you know, that game's capped uh, at 30. Which is so odd. Well, well, I it, don't care. Games like Sonic, I, I do prefer at a higher frame rate. Like, Forces will be running at 60 frames per second, and that's, that's a big plus for me. At the same time, you know, mm -hmm. the game's not gonna look quite as nice as it could, but honestly, if they have to, uh, um, sacrifice some graphical power so that it can be able to run smoother, I I will absolutely not mind that. Like, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, some critics went in and critiqued that game for having lower quality textures, even for the time, but, you know, they had to sacrifice that to have the gun game run at 60 FPS, and that's absolutely fine with me. Just kind of a shame yeah. that for a lot of critics... They care more about graphical quality than they do frame rate. So it's like if game developers <laughs> want to push for sixty, it's probably you know they're probably going to have lower critical mm -hmm. scores because a lot of critics right. typically don't look for frame rate that much. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a it's a give and take sort of thing. Dark Souls One is a very pretty looking game, but you know uh, I, I believe that, it. But it, it runs at thirty. So I think the only console. Yeah port of a Souls game that runs at 60 is Dark Souls 2 PlayStation 4 and maybe Xbox One. I'm not sure. I know that. It, it, I, I bet it is. But on PC, uh, Dark Souls 3, or Dark Souls 2, and uh, Dark Souls 1 can run at 60 if you uncap it. Okay. Um, yeah. But it runs at 30 normally. I think One, it would be four. really nice if um... The Nintendo, if the Nintendo Switch had a Souls collection and had one and two, probably not three at sixty because you know it can't even run that on uh, at thirty on PS4. But it's like if they could get all the Souls games all on the Switch for on the go and 
at home at 60 fps oh. that would be the ultimate souls stop. collection stop your mate you I have to clean my pants now thank you well, at the very least pants. it'll be easier for you because you actually own the switch if that comes out and donald i'm buying like three copies if yeah. that if that kind of game comes out then don's gonna be tormented until he oh, yeah, I'll, I'll need he might sell his body yeah i don't care <laughs> uh, Souls is worth it. We haven't. Oh, don't worry about this NPC. He really doesn't have much. Oh, yeah. And the things that he does have, you him. can just take from him. Just, like that. Just fucking kill him. Yeah. So. This was Souls 3. You would not take him out that quickly. Or Bloodborne. Because NPCs in those games. I know in Bloodborne, you know. They have a lot of HP in Bloodborne. Oh, yeah. And I think 3 they do as well. Three, nah. uh, some of them do, some of them oh, don't. Okay. It depends on which NPC you're taking yeah. down. Okay. If it's like a warrior, then yeah, they have a lot of HP. But if it's like, are you fucking none, then yeah, just, just fucking punch yeah, them. Yeah, you can punch them. Yeah, it just, de just depends on which kind of armor they have. It is cool yeah. that NPCs, it's like, which even, is... even after you die, um, or I, I, I'm, slurp. E even after you die, they'll still attack because they remembered, oh, that was the guy who tried to kill me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's a way to to make them forgive you, uh, but uh, if you're if you try attacking them, odds are you mean to kill them anyway and just die. How do yeah. you get them so, to forgive you? Uh, th it's a mechanic you will find on later down the road. Uh, forgive your sons and all yeah. that. We'll we'll meet a pastor later. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna confess to anything though. I'll probably kill him too. Yeah. Okay. Fuck the church. <laughs> Um, but we, I haven't really talked about the mechanics of Bloodborne as of yet, or Bloodborne, did I just say Bloodborne? Yeah, you said Bloodborne. I mean, Dark, I, mean, I mean Dark Souls 1, they're all the same game, don't worry. Um, <laughs> yes, they definitely are the exact same game with no differences whatsoever. No, no differences, differences whatsoever. Yes, ex None. indeed. You're wrong. <laughs> is, wrong. This, is this Dark Souls 3? Yeah, man, can you see the embers? No, this is Dark. Oh, shit. This is Dark Souls Four, which is definitely going to happen. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right, Lance? Nah. Yeah, I, right. I know you. I know, uh, viewer. You get really angry when people go in and say, "Oh yeah, Dark Souls Four is definitely the next game." Because yeah, no, that that shit's the not creator, gonna happen. the the creator definitely the... never stated that there will never, never be ever ne de definitely. He definitely said that Souls will be lasting till the end of time. People just don't really pay he attention that to interviews and yeah, such. Yeah, I, I, I know. People don't really pay attention to that sort of thing. And it, now it's Bloodborne 2, that, now that. Bloodborne, yeah, there's a lot of rumors going around at this time of the recording for Bloodborne 2. Hell, it might come out for all I know. Hopefully, hopefully, and hopefully. I'll, hopefully. Uh, I'm not going to put any... Okay, I, I'm actually putting in a lot of faith for it, but I'll, I'll uh, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. That's it. If they do um, do a Bloodborne 2, do you think they'll keep it to PlayStation 4 exclusive as well? Hopefully not. Ooh, uh, hopefully not, but I don't... Uh, I would not be surprised if they did keep it as a PlayStation only. Yeah. yeah. It I depends really on how wish. much they want to tinker around with the Scorpio or another PC port. I really Good wish job. that um, we could uh, have a PC port of Bloodborne, but I know that's never going to happen, so... I wonder if it has anything to do with licensing. I don't know. I'm trying to get the my honestly. Uh, my I think the I think the creator's right just now. done with the Souls games. No. The create the writer himself is the team is still down to make them. He's just done with making Dark Souls games because he uh, he wrote Dark Souls three to be the ending of the series. Yeah. And we've got a very satisfying ending with the latest DLC. Yep. The DLC and the uh, main ending itself is very satisfying. Yeah. Did this game have a lot of downloadable content? Uh, Dark Souls 1 had only one additional content, uh, which was a DLC pack for a new area. Dark Souls 3 had three different DLC packs. Yeah. yeah they definitely Dark, Dark got Souls more had... uh, DLC. Love. Yeah. Bloodborne had one, and Dark Souls 3 had two. Had two. One of which was successful, one of them, one of which was not. Yeah. Ashes of Oriental is definitely not... You really wanted that parry, didn't you? I did. 
uh, pairing is the best way to take them down because they have a lot of defenses. Yeah. And here, here's a blue tier. Black right. knights are kind of tough to take down, but unless you, you're uh, a fucking heal? master of parry. Did you, uh, can you uh, heal? Ooh, I planned this out from the very beginning. Oh yeah, we're gonna take fucking cavalry. New smega bandit. <laughs> smega bandit. Doing? Heal. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. Heal, moron. All right. I don't need to heal. Watch this shit. This is gonna end very, very well. It's time for the smegma bandit, bitch. Smegma bandit. Wait, I'm not smegma. I'm I'm actually human this time. Shit. Though. <laughs> Good while, while you were off learning the parry, the smegma <laughs> bandits were training. <laughs> while you were off getting your trinkets, the smegma bandits were training. <laughs> I fucking love this Magma Bandits, dude. It's, it's amazing. I, I, lo I love that comic so fucking much. Uh, here's Havel. You're not supposed to take him down this early on, but you can take him down regardless of whatever you have. Yeah. Uh, my setup is just built to take him down at the very beginning. Yeah. You're, you're more successful at this than I am, honestly. Then again, I don't try with fucking Red, red Tears not activated, so... Red Tear Stone helps a lot. Yeah. I believe it's 40% extra buff if you're 40%, in danger. Yeah. Oh! Okay, that's why. Yep, it's a very good plus. Yep. It gets buff or it gets nerfed in later titles. Yeah. But here, it is wonderful. Yeah. And um, it stacks with power within, so that makes a total of 80. And you can get the Dragon Head... No, not the Dragon, the Torso Headstone. Whatever. And that's like 25%, so you can make your attack like 250. 5% or something. Mm -hmm. So, now we have the Havel's Ring early, and this ring is a lot of people's favorite of the game. It raises equipment load by 50%, which is nice. Yeah. It, it's uh, definitely so basically, one of the more useful shields in the entire game. Shields fucking ring. Rings. Ring. Uh, I always have this ring on, really. It's, it's nice. Yeah. It's amazing. With how equipment load is in this game... Uh, it's very... Uh, it's not as punishing as Demon Souls is, but it's not as forgiving as later titles, unfortunately. Oh god, the fucking way. The fire effects um, in this game are awful when it comes to running stable. Oh yes, it is. Like, I think it runs mostly like this because of the fucking fire effects. Fire, fog, um... Greenery, surely not, because the greenery effects are not good at all. Oh no, not at all. Um, but anyway, thanks to the Havel's Ring, I am able to fast roll without worry. There are three different types of rolls, I think actually four, but if that's only being technical. Curious. Um, so right now, as of right now, of this recording, we have four raws recorded and edited how many more uh how long um will this game particularly take you for cur for our current playthrough or for this particular um, playthrough this particular playthrough i think it took me about 12 hours to record okay um everything said and done without editing yeah once uh, you know, once you know dark soul shit then yeah it's it's kind of, you Easy. know, burned in your head. How, yeah. how long did it take you for your first playthrough? My first playthrough of Dark Souls 1? Yeah. Uh, about 30 hours. I got lost along the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mine was like 40 or something. I also didn't go after many of the optional areas, like the Hollow Tree, which I, I won't for this playthrough, unfortunately, because I didn't know about it at the time. Oh, yeah, here's Zon's favorite weapon. Fuck hey, you. <laughs> that's pretty good. Seven months ago. <laughs> Not using it. When Fuck did you me. record this? Uh, I recorded this back in uh, December. Oh, okay. So you learned a lot about this game in between then and now. It's so oh, good. Yeah. Why don't you use it? Fuck you. I don't need it. Fuck you. I don't care about your goddamn strength scaling. Bitch, fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh. It's too fucking heavy. It's too heavy and the strength requirement is too high. It's 40. You get uh, to it in like 20 minutes. Eh. 
I'd rather put all those points in my faith. Uh, I, I, faith I can imagine game, that but... around the time this game came out, this game was absolutely breathtaking. Oh, it was back, back then. then. I, I, I have my PS3 copy, and it looks good on that, too. Not as many frame drops as I had during my DS Fix playthrough. Yeah, and you can up the quality for it to be 180, 1080p and uh, 60 frames. Good oh, fucking yes. luck okay. with that, though. Yeah. So this is Solar. 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 Doesn't matter, he's or fucking dead. He's a very friendly chap. Uh, I enjoy him. Kill him. I don't. He get fuck him. I hope. Uh, nice. Oh, you're killing him. Well, good. Yes, I do not need him to. Yeah. He has, his, he has his own little side quest, but uh, nothing of me to uh, care about. So yeah, just just fucking kill him. He does. He doesn't fucking matter. Besides, I like his leg, his uh, leggings, not his legs. His legs are nice too. But uh, I want those pants. Yeah. And getting him to come over to your house is too much of a fucking asshole, so just fucking kill, kill him. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I surely should have parried that yeah. shit. Maybe you there just There you suck. go. How about fuck you? <laughs> you haven't even been in this fucking game. Hey, hey! Shut up. Oh, yeah, baby. Also, I want his talisman because this thing is nice. Oh, yeah. Sunlight Talisman is, I, I got think, his one of the best ones. I'll backseat as much as it's I want. It's one of the best... What, what? I'll backseat as much as I want. Okay. Backseat okay. gaming backseat is, all the, you is, want. My favorite, is my favorite activity. Good for oh, you, shit. buddy. Turn around here before you get toasted. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Okay. How would you know that? You're, You're supposed to pointer. indicate that that's, that that's going to happen by the toasted ground at the bottom. Like, huh... Something came by here once upon a time. Maybe he'll come back. Yep. Uh, that, I mean, I guess that's somewhat <laughs> of an indicator, but I don't think a lot of first-time players are going to notice stuff like Dude, that. Dude, you think, see, like, I should, dark, I should you see dark right back. purposes and shit. It's, like, kind of obvious that something's going to burn it. Well, typically, y you would think that, oh, is something ahead? You, you don't think that, oh, something's immediately going to go in and bombard me. Maybe you should just use the fa that uh, one uh, phase, or not phase, what am I saying? Phrase that uh, you like using so much. Get good. Get good, faggot. Well, I mean, I haven't played up until this point, so I can't really get good. And I didn't die to it, it because I didn't get, get up there. there. You technically didn't die to it, you're right. Technically, he so is right. there's nothing to get good, get good about. Get good at dying to it, I guess. Uh -huh. Wait, you can get good at dying? I, I yeah. Fear, yeah. you make absolutely no sense. That's a fucking... Hey, I can use magic now. And that's now. exactly yeah. why we all love you. Goodbye. Yay.